Hi guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. In this video, we'll see the question valid anagram. Given two strings s and t, write a function to determine if t is an anagram of s. In the example 1, we have two inputs, string s and string t, and the output is true. Now, why is the output true? You can see that the set of characters in s and t are same. The count and the character. Both the things are same in both the strings. And so we can say that these are anagrams. While in the second example, if you see string s contains r a t and string t contains c a r. That is this t and the c are different in both the strings. And so the output is false. For this question, you can assume that the string will only contain lowercase letters. So now, how can we solve the question? The first thing that we know is count of characters must be same. So, so we can also say that s dot length is equal to t dot length. So this would be a base case and all the characters in s would be there in t. So how so one of the ways that we can solve is by taking the character array for both the strings and then sorting that character array. If after sort both the character arrays are equal, we can say that these are anagrams. So let's just write the code for that approach. So we'll take two character arrays. Which would hold the characters for our strings S and T. Now we'll perform sorting on them. And at the end, we can just return whether these two are equal. And that's it. We can write a base condition of length. That is, if s dot length is not equal to t dot length, we can return false. Let's run this. And it gives a perfect result. Let's submit this code. And it got submitted. The time complexity over here would be O of n log n as we are using a sorting algorithm and we can say that our space complexity would also be O of n as we are using this character array but it depends on what language you are writing the code into. So now let's optimize the solution to bring it to O of n time complexity. So instead of doing this sort what we can do? We can take a count array and as we know, we are going to have small case letters. We can take that array of length 26. And now for the string s, we can keep on adding the count in this count array for each character. So let's just remove this first. And yeah, so in this, what we are going to do is we are going to add the count for this particular character which will be c minus a as we wanted zero indexed. With this loop, we have all the counts for s in this count array. We'll again run a loop for t. And here we will start deducting the count. And whenever the count is zero and we still have a character, we'll have to return false because there is a mismatch in the character count. So we first check whether count of c minus a that is at this index if the value is equal to 0 we return false as if we deduct it it would go into minus which we don't want and otherwise we just deduct it count of c minus a minus minus so every false condition would be actually caught into this and this. If everything runs successfully, we can simply return true. And now let's run this code and it is giving a perfect result. Let's submit this and it got submitted. The time complexity over here reduces to O of n as we are just looping on the characters in the string and the space complexity becomes O of 1 because we are just using an extra space for the 
array of 26 characters to store the count. So that goes to O of 26, which is equal to O of 1. So that's it for this question, guys. Hope you like this video and I'll see you in the next one. Till then, keep learning, keep coding. <coughs>